Greetings Exiles and welcome to my build guide diary from Delirium League. I choose my starter build a few hours before I started the actual league and it turned out to be the Chaos Damage over time Occultist. This is after day 3 of the league, like I played maybe like 30 hours on the character, let's see. And this is also just after... One day, 12 hours, so 36 hours. Kind of a lot, but I killed my first Awakener today on stream. I have Awakening level 5 going, so I have 20 reward stones. And that's what I'm going to pro progress next. Just progressing the Atlas, just getting more Awakening levels to get the big currency rolling in. There is no real change I made to the build since I uploaded the build guide for 3.8 and then I re revamped it for 3.9, so um, yeah. But I killed Awakener today on, on this stuff actually. I After that I bought this 6 linked, but I, I killed it on the 4 linked stuff with a 4 linked Bane in here and a 6 linked Essence Drain with all gems just level 20, no quality, and an empower level 2 only. So I've been missing out on a lot of damage and you will see that I will kind of struggle against Awakener last phase because that got changed. But that's going to be at the end of the video. So if you want to go skip ahead, uh, just do it. I'm probably going to put a timestamp down there. But yeah, if you're playing this build as well, which I know a lot of players are actually doing that, and if you're having problems to stay alive, which is my number one request, why am I so squishy, why am I dying so much? Remember one thing, on your rare gear get life and resistances, 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 and resistances and life. So. And also movement speed on your boots, but yeah. I'm also running a tabula, so not a carcass check or anything special. And I still managed to kill Awakener at Awakening level 0, so it was the weakest Awakener possible. With uh, this Falling Staff, with mediocre rolls on a tabula, and the rest of the gear, which is like 3 chaos each item, so on around a 45 chaos budget. Because the staff was like 4 chaos, the tabula is like 16, and the rest is just like 3 chaos each part. So nothing too special going on here. I, um, I'm struggling in Delirium just like everybody does, because Delirium right now is a little bit too strong in my opinion. So what I'm usually doing is, when I'm entering a map, I'm starting the Delirium. If it's a shit reward, you can see the reward uh, to the bottom left once you do it then I most of the times just skip it. There's going to be a skip button once you're inside of it. And if it's something like currency or incubators or scarabs or fossils or something like that, I'm trying to clear as much as I can until I don't feel comfortable against the enemies anymore, which is usually around level three, level four, and then I'm just going to skip it. So there is no need to do the full delirium every single time because the rewards aren't actually that great. Only if you, if you're unlucky to get some fossils, some scarabs, and uh, some stuff like that. So don't worry about that. Everybody feels squishy inside the delirium. Other than that, there's not much to say. I went for freedom of movement on my uh, anointment here. The passive tree, by the way, is still the same. I will link uh, the pub down there in the description. Like for the full passive tree, not for for my scarf one, because I yeah, I don't have everything yet. I want to pick up, and yeah, freedom of movement costs about nothing. The only expensive part is a violet oil, which is one chaos. So uh, yeah, but this one actually grants you phasing and movement speed, which is really good for mapping because phasing is always good in maps and movement speed is the key in this build to even farm faster. So yeah, until I reached the my first awakener I had like three and a half exalteds and then I bought this staff after I killed the awakener so yeah, no worries at all with a currency. I'm only mapping and I'm I actually spent about three exalteds just for maps. 
to progress to, to the Awakener, so don't you guys tell me that I'm wearing some, I don't know, like expensive equipment or that it's not possible to do the Awakener on a budget. It is possible, but it is hard <laughs> and you need to know the fight, but that's, that's something um, for another video. Other than that, I don't have anything going on, like this ring is, yeah, my, my gear is just bad. If you have mana problems, even if you have the kind of unraveling, you can craft mana regen or maximum mana on some stuff, but that's pretty much it. This is a helmet I dropped, so this has only 85 life and 7 fire rest, so pretty much nothing, and yeah. That's it, I just want to make a quick update. So I killed first Awakener, I'm currently running tier 14 plus maps on Awakening 5, which works. But I die a lot, especially once I start Delirium, because I didn't listen to myself when I said, oh my god, no, Delirium isn't worth it, I'm not going to run it. Next map, Delirium, dead. Don't do that, <laughs> if you don't want to die. My character is level 90, so I'm probably going up to 93 maybe, because 93 is about the breakpoint where leveling gets really slow. So, yeah. Going for level 93, going to pick up this jewel socket and this jewel socket, which would then complete my my build for now. I'm not I'm probably not even going to buy a carcass jack because I'm not playing to play this build that much since I want to play like 14 different builds this league and this, this isn't even one of them, so yeah. Kinda important for me was to get a granite and a and an evasion flask, like a granite and jade flask, so you might want to pick that up as well. And then obviously a silver flask for onslaught, onslaught is cast speed, which is utility in your build, and movement speed, which, you know, movement speed is movement speed, so yeah. And since movement speed is movement speed, I also have a movement speed flask with movement speed crafted on there. So yeah, movement speed is key, so you just uh, run in, press your uh, contagion, Essence Drain, and then you already skip the pack. Because it's going to die behind you. That's sometimes annoying because then it's going to drop something, but uh, yeah. Okay, so the next thing I'm going for on this build is I'm going to upgrade all of my rares to have not only a little bit of life, but also some better energy shield rolls on there. And then I might consider going for a carcass check, but as I said, I, I'm not sure yet, so I will see. But that's it for me for now. If you have any more questions, I, I by the way, I don't have any Pantheon uh, ready right now. Uh, take Soul of the Brain King first, that's pretty cool. And Garukan, so don't take the ones you just saw. Brain King, Garukan. And yeah, that's it for me for now. If you have any further questions, I will be streaming the next few days. With this build, probably like two or three more days until I reach a some nice currency, like 10 Exalted maybe to afford a new build. And yeah, link is going to be down in the video description. I'm going to be streaming about 8 hours a day, so yeah. Plenty of time to ask me any questions if you might have some. Thank you very much for watching. Have fun with the Awakener video, like uh, after, after this part of this video. And don't freak out. This was my first time Awakener with the kind of new abilities, so I'm going to kind of shout a little bit because I was so nervous. But yeah, you can reduce the volume if that annoys you. But have fun with my first Awakener kill this league. Awakener 0 on a 45 chaos budget with this build. And thank you very much for watching. I am Jay, and I'm out. Did you really think this would work? Destroying you is as easy as flicking a pest. No! Son of! Hirak! How boring and small. You want the Atlas? Take it! It's yours. But Aureus? Aureus, I will burn to the ground. Perhaps the suffering of my fellow citizens will finally stir some. Oh my god, my hands are so sweaty. <laughs> Whew.
I mean, I've done the fight more than a hundred times, so I should be fine. <laughs> What's this? A real challenge? You finally caught my attention. Die. Die. They changed the fight, by the way. <laughs> There's a lot more shit going on. Okay, first phase done. Oh, bad positioning. I will have to wait until he's right there. The others found strength in their projection. They became reliant on me. I am not so Is it already second phase? I dealt like no damage. Okay, not so bad. But now the hard phase. Okay, that's new. That beam is new. That kinda threw me off. <laughs> like it's a lot bigger now. And then I jumped right into him instead of jumping to the side of him. So you never want to run straight at the boss. So that was my mistake. This is why I died there. Yeah, like that. Always jump to the side.
I don't see him. Ah, okay. I am super slow. Why have I been that slow? There was a debuff up here that I've not seen before. Okay, they actually changed the fight. I like that. They actually changed the fight. I couldn't jump to the left there, so I had to jump to the right again. No! No! I got frozen. But I pressed my freeze flask. Oh, this is my freeze flask. Never mind, still, still easy. Oh. I had no Quicksilver flask ready anymore. Still got this. Nice. Oh, oh my god. I love that they changed the fight. Like it's actually hard now. If you get hit by one thing, you're kind of fucked. Like the the damage aura I had, like I had two different debuffs on there once I got hit. So yeah, I like that. Nice. I like that they made a fight harder. I mean, this is... Um, been pretty much on a yeah that's a falling and this is a five and a half link with an empower two but still i like it nice good job ggg